Ya, mendap ni kita kita nak fikir masalah Kuala Lumpur ni tak boleh elak berulang kerana Kuala Lumpur ni masih tahu dia punya bawah formation of the of the of the of the of the earth tu pasal semalam bila kita bincang kita telah minta bila dia nak buat ni dia mesti ada satu uh, uh, apa ni kajian bila dia buat kajian ni kenapa dia tak cerita yang bawah ni ada limestone ada benda tapi yang berlaku di mendap ni oleh kerana syabas punya pipe bocor barangkali the negligence of the contractor because we are also building a tunnel to bypass nak bagi east the traffic congestion of <coughs> jalan pudu ke 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 Kuala Lumpur lah there's a bypass which we are doing and then uh, uh, what happened was towards the end uh, the thing burst when the thing burst the air uh, bagi mendapat itu itu yang jadi, itu yang jadi mendapat So now, instruction has been given that they're doing a lot of grouting now. They're pumping a lot of uh, earth as well as apa ni, cement to stabilize the kawasan balik. We hope by two weeks they will settle. Lah. And then, kita pun juga telah buat diversion untuk kereta. I'm sorry lah to the Kuala Lumpur community because it, 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 it is unavoidable. The same thing with the MRT construction on the other side. So itu hari pun mendap juga, berkali-kali mendap. Oleh kerana the soil formation, there's a lot of limestone underneath Kuala Lumpur. Uh. Janganlah berlaku, insya Allah tak berlaku lah. Ini I got to leave it to God. But saya telah minta supaya semua kontraktor yang buat kerja bawah tanah ini berhati-hati lah. We do not know. What I'm worried also, uh, we are checking on the one of the pillar of monorail is uh, there's some and uh, destabilize so we're checking on the monorail okay of course lah if the contractor negligence we will take action lah investigation yes 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 investigation will be done.